Hey guys, I'm CJ and I am back for another video and today we are going to be talking about my PM skincare routine. I don't know why I did that, but I'm pretty damn excited, obviously. I already did my morning skincare routine, of course, I will link it in the description box down below, but it took me a hot minute to get this one up because it's just, it's an involved process, it takes a little bit to film these videos, and yeah, I was being lazy, so I was like, come on CJ, get your shit together, you have people you gotta please, so I'm filming it now. Of course, if you see something moving in this general area, it's Preston, I'm not under attack. So thank you for the concern, but it's just Preston, and yeah, he's probably sniffing his butt or going under the blankets or something. But anyways, this is going to be a long video, so sit down, grab some wine because you're probably going to need it to listen to me, and let's take the face off. First step, this hat, use it every day. It's tight, it fits perfectly, you put it on your head. No hair in your face then. I hate getting hair in my face when I'm like trying to put stuff on, it drives me nuts. So the first thing that I do when I take the day off is I'm going to come home and I'm going to do my oil cleanse, then my Clarisonic, and a second cleanse. So the product I've been using quite recently, and all of these products are going to be a like general routine that I've been doing. I do switch things in and out, I do certain masks, and I'm going to tell you when I do all of those steps. But I'm going to give you my general idea. The first product I've been going in Again, I've had this one for a while and I haven't really been using it, but I saw it and I'm like, I need to use this bitch up. So, I started using her again. This is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Cleansing Butter. This is expensive for being kind of a basic cleanser, but it's real pretty. And it smells like chamomile, so I love it. And you know, sometimes you just gotta splurge, you gotta buy things. It's a basic cleansing bomb, so any will work. But this is just one I've been liking. I use a lot because I want a good slip on my face. So I just will dot like this all over my face. And then I just massage it in. I massage it down my neck. I massage it around my chin. I give myself like a little chin massage. Just push that back up there so I don't have that double chin like oh thing going on. So I'll probably fast forward through this. So I would highly recommend, if you don't already use an oil cleanser, whether you're oily, dry, normal, I would really highly recommend starting to do that. Oil cleansers are going to do a lot of things for your skin. It's going to help take the SPF off, it's going to take off oil, the oil, dirt, and grime you've accumulated during the day, and a good oil cleanser will destroy your makeup, like demolish your makeup. So a lot of times you won't need a makeup remover unless you're using a lot of eye makeup. So find an oil cleanser you like. The Body Shop Chamomile one is like $18 and works beautifully. It comes in a balm and an oil. And I just really take my time at night to cleanse and do my steps. You wore your face all day. It worked hard all day. I like to take the time and really like take care of it. So I'll oil cleanse for like a solid minute or so. Two minutes, whatever. Eight minutes if I'm bored. Now that I feel everything's been thoroughly like rubbed off, cleansed off, I'm gonna go rinse my face with the hot water or warm water. I never use hot water, just like barely warm water. This emulsifies really, really well, and then I'll come back with my Clarisonic and my double cleanse. So I will be back in one second. Don't leave. All right, I'm back, and obviously bare face. I'm sorry if I startled you or your children, but don't be alarmed. This is just me. So next, I have been going in with my History of Woo Essential Foam Cleanser. This is total granny status cleanser, but I've been loving it. It's very gentle, it smells like grandma slash baby powder, and I've been using it with my Clarisonic Mia 3. I use this, not necessarily every night, but I just do it when I feel like I want a little bit more. So I just take like a glob, and I personally like to, I don't put on the brush, I like to put it on my face and then use the brush to cleanse. So here we go. All right, so that's all done. I'm gonna go rinse my face and I will be back. Stay. All right, so we are clean. My face is still slightly damp and here's where the padding starts. I know you guys love it. So I don't dry my face completely. I try to just pat the water in, and pretty quickly, I don't really wait, I go in right in, 
with my toner. So I have this Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Turbo Line Smoothing Toner. This is one that I just want to get the fuck rid of. I'm so sick of it. I hate it. It really doesn't do anything for my skin besides prep it, I guess. So I just take a healthy amount, smooth it, disperse it across my face, and we pack. This is not one I do the seven skin method with. It doesn't, I mean, I guess you could. It's supposed to have all sorts of vitamins and peptides, but this may be one of the first Peter Thomas Roth products that I don't like. It does absorb well though, and it doesn't really have a feel, so it's whatever. Next, I will go in with another product I'm not a huge fan of, but I am trying to just get through this so I can do my first treatment essence comparison video. This is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. This is just another first treatment essence. I use one every day and every night. This one is kind of like, uh, bleh, okay, but I needed to get through it, use it, study it, and tell you guys what it does. So this is one product I will do a couple layers of. I like to layer my uh, treatment essences because I find you get a little bit of a better result. And you get more of a brightening effect it helps with your texture more. I'm not going to show you products I do multiple layers of because this video is going to be probably half a lifetime as it is, but I will just tell you if I layer them. So I pat that in until it's mostly, mostly absorbed. The thing that I really pay attention to during the night is I am focusing on rehydrating my skin from all any of the moisture I may have lost during the day. And this is the time when I'm gonna do my like major treatments, any anti-aging treatments, because at night is when your skin repairs itself, it's restoring the skin cells. So this is when you really wanna focus on your age prevention or your major treatment products. During the day for me is more about hydration and protection. Tonight for me is about re really, really rehydrating and really treating any targeted issues that you want to work on. So this is, after cleansing and toning and doing my first treatment essence, if I'm doing a retinol, which I do three to four nights a week, this would be when I do it. I wait for my face to be completely dry. I wait about five to 10 minutes after it's dry. I will apply, currently I'm using the Zio Medical uh, Retinol, but I also love the Ordinary 2% Retinoid. It, I'll just interchange them. I will use it now, apply it all over my face and neck and allow it to sit for 20 to 30 minutes until it's fully absorbed. I don't want to cause any interactions or dilute this by any means. Tonight, I will not be doing a retinol. So after doing a first treatment essence, I've been going in with a couple different essence products. Like I said in my morning video, I like to do many light layers rather doing, than doing many heavy layers or doing a few layers. I am a total layer. My skin has become more normal because of it. And with lighter products that I know what they do, I can provide that necessary hydration and not have a heavy, gross feeling on my face. But at night, I don't really care. But anyways. So I have been loving the combination of going in with this Innisfree Soybean Energy Essence. This is a fairly light, kind of like very, very fluid gel consistency. So I take this, pretty good amount. I'm very liberal with my first treatment essences and essences. And I take this all over my face. And of course, down the neck. Anything I do on my face, I take to my neck. And then I pat. Like I said in the morning video, I pretty much pat in almost all of my products. I feel that they absorb better, and it helps with your circulation, bringing that blood to the surface of your skin. So after I do the Innisfree Soybean Essence, which I really do like, it's like an anti-aging product that provides hydration, I then go in with my completely labelless Hadalabo Gokujin Premium Lotion. I love the regular one. This has a couple more uh, weights of hyaluronic acid though, and it's a little bit thicker, just as good. This is a product I will do multiple layers of if I'm not doing a ton of layers, because this is a ton of hyaluronic acid, very hydrating, and it will pump your skin out. Same thing, press it into the skin. And then pat. At night, I like to focus on doing three treatment products. So if I'm not doing a retinol, I will do three serums. I generally focus on three serums 
if I'm treating my skin. That's kind of like my, my rule of thumb that I've always learned. If I'm doing a retinol, I will keep it fairly simple. It'll be more hydrating, soothing, moisturizing products with the retinol being a standalone. But tonight, we're not doing that. Also, with all of my skincare routines, I like to keep my face some level of damp, unless I'm doing the retinol like I talked about. But I use a mist very thoroughly through my entire routine, because if you think of a sponge, if you were to apply an oil or a cream on a dry sponge, you're gonna have to really, really work it to get that product to penetrate, and it's probably not gonna penetrate very effectively or efficiently. So the reason I do many light layers, because as you slowly add light layers of moisture to a sponge, it becomes plump and it starts to accept more products and heavier products better. So I treat my skin like a sponge and I apply very light layers, lots of many light layers, or very light layers, and then when I do my serums or essence or emulsions or oils, those products are able to absorb more efficiently and get used by my skin more efficiently. So don't worry, yes it's a lot of layers, but a lot of these are just like hydration, hydration, hydration layers. So if my skin gets a little dry, I go in with my loved Sinus, uh, sorry, Sanitas Moisture Mist. But right now I feel pretty good. So generally after I do my essence steps, I will go in first with a hyaluronic acid. At night I've been loving this Ren uh, Instant Firming Beauty Shot. This has a couple different forms of hyaluronic acid and it has their special hydraluron technology. It has some really interesting technology, I can't think of it on the top of my head. I will take a full stopper for my face and I will also do the same for my skin. Or for my neck, sorry. Some nights my face needs a dropper and my neck needs a dropper. Some nights I can get away with just doing a dropper for both. So as that's absorbing, I will go in with my first eye product. So I have been using and really enjoying the Nyad Eye Contour. So I will take a little bit, little bit of that and I will pat it under my eye. I do actually find that this eye serum works really, really well. I will link it down below. As that's absorbing, usually that hyaluronic acid will absorb extremely quickly, so I go in with another pretty light, quick absorbing one. This is the Ordinary Buffet Serum, so this is their all-around anti-aging product. I Take a full stopper of this, and I will smooth it around my face, and then pat it in. As the eye product is absorbing, I will kind of stay away from the eye contour area for a minute. If I seem a little bit rushed, I'm trying not to make this video super, super long. I will usually do this over like an hour's period, so I'm trying to be quicker for you guys. So then after, as that's absorbing, I will go back to the eyes, and I have been using and really enjoying this, the Sem Urban Eco Herukiki Firming Seed Eye Cream. This is a firming eye cream, it's also quite hydrating, and I find that this does a good job in conjunction with the Nyad serums, or the Ordinary Serum. So I just swirl my finger around, get a good little bit, and I pat it under my eye, of course, with my middle finger. It's your most gentle finger. And I go on the eyelid, and just sort of around my orbital bone. The same thing with the other side. Now, I don't always use an eye cream. I kind of go back and forth on eye creams, or on eye products, I find like, well, isn't it just the same thing as my normal skincare? And then sometimes I go like, well, it's thinner skin, it's a little bit different. I try it. So I don't know. I, I, the verdict is still out for me as far as eye products go. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. So now my skin is a little bit like, absorbed, not dry, but like, could use some more moisture, so I'm going to go in with the Sanitas Moisture Mist. I will immediately after spraying that go in with one of two products. I have been trying to get rid of this uh, Misha Time Revolution Essence. I don't really care for this, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. So I have been using this Nanuko Dermalane 
Peptide High Performance Serum. This is a 20% peptide mixture. You use about that much, one little dropper. I'll use two sometimes. Like today, I feel like my skin could use a little bit more. And then onto the damp skin. This will go. The Nuroco Peptide Serum is pretty, like, it's a little thicker. It's more of like a thicker gel. It does not add a nice level of hydration, and I found that it has plumbed to my fine lines or wrinkles out quite a bit. So this is a really good product. I will link it down below, of course, if you want to check it out. So as that's absorbing, I will kind of change what I do next. So sometimes I will go in with an emulsion. What I've been loving recently is the Innisfree Orchid Lotion. This is more for like, like your anti-aging and hydrating line. The soybean one is more for like the firming. So I've been going in with this. This is really nice. It's a light lotion emulsion consistency. But I think what I'm going to do tonight and what I've been doing some nights is going in with two oils like I did in the morning. So first I will go in, after that's absorbed, I will rehydrate my face. And I will go in with my hemp seed oil. So hemp seed oil is really good for acne prone skin. It helps to control breakouts while actually being very nourishing because it has the full range of omega acids. It's a beautiful green color. And I take, it's a little bit thicker, so I will take about four drops. And press it into my damp skin. For oils, I do think it's really important to put it into damp skin. I find that they absorb a lot better. No, you probably don't need to tap, pat an oil in, but I do. And it'll go in with a little mini massage if I feel like it. I will go over my eyes with the oil, and I will let that set for... For the oils, I let them sit for quite a bit because my skin is now being sealed. So I will let it sit for probably 10 to 15 minutes on most nights. I am not going to put you guys through that torture. So the next thing I will do, I should say that after I do my serums, most nights I will go in with a sheet mask. For me, I always prefer to do my full skincare up to the serum point, finish my serums, and then put on a sheet mask. I like the idea of pushing all of those serum products deep into my skin, adding another layer of hydration, and just locking everything in and pushing it down. I also will sometimes go in with a sheet mask after a light oil. That can be really, really beautiful to do a oil under a sheet mask. It can, the oil will actually, because as it's being soaked into your skin and your skin is more accepting of oils because it's similar to what's naturally found in the body, it will accept those lipids and bring the hydration down with it. So you're gonna have really plump, firm, like rehydrated, really moisturized skin if you do it that way. But on most nights, I will do it directly after my serums before the oils, because I then think like, push the serums in, lock it in with an oil, best of both worlds. So now I will go in with my little moisturizer cocktail. I will take the Belif True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and I will mix it with a few drops of the Herbivore Lapis Oil. I've been, I love the Lapis Oil. I was using it mostly as like an emergency skincare thing, but then I'm like, I just love it. So I'll take a dollop of this, like that, on the back of my hand. And I know it probably looks like I use a lot, like a lot of the product. And then I take about three drops of the oil. And that's probably true. For me, my face is a little bit larger. I will then just emulsify these two together. So I just like mix it up slightly. And it has this really beautiful mixture that I then put on my face and neck. As I was saying, my face is a little bit bigger, so I have to use a little bit more product, but also I tend to be, I don't like to think of myself as a product overuser, but if I'm erring on either the side of using too little or too much, I'm always gonna use a little bit too much. I do know that most products using more is not better, but I also know that I paid money 
to get these products. I want to get the full benefit of the product. So I'm not going to use two little micro dribbles of a serum or an oil or something and then hope that after 13 years of owning it that I'm going to see some results. For me, I would rather use an adequate amount, if not slightly more than I need, and just give my skin the opportunity to fully utilize and use that treatment, serum, essence, toner, whatever it is. So I will use a little more rather than using a little less. That's just me, it's not for everybody, but I find that I get the best results from doing it that way. So after the moisturizer is on, I will pat it in a little bit. I know I'm a total freak, but I just find that patting stuff works really, really well. And at night, I don't give two flying fucks if my skin looks oily. I'm going to sleep and nobody gives a shit. I'm not going to see anyone. And if my skin wakes up and it's beautiful, moisturized, happy, then I've accomplished what I needed. I'm not going out for a night on the town. So after all of those products, if I feel like I want to add a sleeping pack, then I will go in with one of the sleeping packs that I have. If not, then this is perfectly fine and I will go to sleep at this point. So that is it for this video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit long and if you want any clarification on any products or anything that I did during this video, please let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And let me know if you like this video and what you'd guys like to see next. That is all for this time. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.